Hello everyone, hopefully you will be fine and enjoying the course of life. Today let's look into the Dynamics 365 capabilities that can save your time for creating lengthy recurring journals. <coughs> I'm talking about periodic journals. Examples for periodic journals are fixed monthly, weekly or daily expenses such as rentals, payroll, admin, insurance expenses, etc. Periodic journals are sometimes called recurring journals because the amount, text, and other information are repeated each time that the periodic journal is retrieved. When you create periodic journal, you specify the period interval for the recurrence, such as days or the months. So let's dive into the details and create a periodic journal. So as discussed in the previous video, uh, in order to create the periodic journal, you first need to create a journal name for the periodic journal so here for the demo purposes we have created a periodic journal name the main thing to note here is the journal type should be periodic so the, this uh, journal is name is created for considering the bare minimum requirements to create a periodic journal name so what are the those bare minimum requirements there should be a periodic type there must be a uh, watcher number associated with that for the number sequence and if you want to uh, go for the approvals, you can select one of them, this one or the below one. This one is using the generic uh, general ledger workflow approval mechanism and this one is using the workflow engine to uh, create different stepwise approvals. Uh, same goes for the blocking. Uh, we discussed in the previous previous video that it, it we can use a private user group to allow or uh, post this type of uh, watcher. We can default offset account from here. We can select the details of posting. Uh, either it will be detail or the summary. And then we can define the line limits as well. We can fix uh, currency. We can adjust the sales tax settings. We can default dimensions as well as we can uh, go to the general control and here we can set the different segment values which we can default from which accounts can be posted we can add accounts and companies which segments are valid for this general type we can specify those segments uh, like for the which accounting structure it will be uh, available or which accounting structure can be used to post this watcher this general Next is the posting restrictions which I haven't covered in the previous video so that's why I'm taking this uh, whole bunch now. Posting restrictions, you can specify restrictions for each journal name so that users can post only journals that they have created. <coughs> you can specify uh, created by the user group or by the user or no posting. So we have reviewed the settings of the periodic journal name. Now, now let's create a periodic journal. I'll be using Excel based uh, functionality as well to create a periodic journal. So in order to create a periodic journal, we need to go to the periodic journals tab here in the journal entries, periodic journals. Let's create a new one. Let's give it, it, it a name, periodic journal. Product General Test 2 and let's go to the lines. In order to use the open in Excel we need to configure the template for that ex, uh, uh, for that to be used here. So instead of going for open in Excel I will be pasting uh, from Excel on, on this form. So let's create few of the transactions. So I, I'm used, try, I am uh, thinking to use this from the day one so I'll be using the day first because it's a payroll journal so payroll is normally posted on the day first whichever date is uh, you, you are using here it will be defaulted on that date so let's create a bunch of accounts here for payroll entry I'll be copying from here and pasting here so 
so here you see how easy it is to create <coughs> a journal using excel paste we are using a modern ERP so hence we uh, can paste directly from excel we can utilize this this function uh, in every data entry even now let's adjust uh, uh, the units how we want this journal to recur so we'll be using months instead of days you see it's updating now next is how many months so number of units will be after each month you will be <coughs> requiring this voucher this channel to be created so by default is taking the 15th of uh, that month but I want to use first of that so I need to update the data as well so let me copy this from here and paste on each of the lines this state will be used while retrieving the voucher this voucher will be retrieved on, on this the same the same date the first of every month that's it the one and here we go the last row for this voucher now you see that the voucher hasn't been generated for these lines so this voucher will be generated while we will be retrieving this voucher for posting uh, debit amounts has been uh, there credit amounts has been there offset account type is ledger you can set other accounts account settings as well like you can use the ledger vendor project fixes rate bank you can select each, any of them so because i am using the ledger so i'll be crediting to the ledger instead of going for credit line a separate credit line we can use a default offset account for that so that have uh, other uh, validations as well uh, that the voucher will be uh, in single line and we have defaulted a currency usd we have defaulted a that uh, this will be recorded in a month on a monthly basis and uh, number of units for the month will, will be one he, uh, the uh, v, voucher will be general will be retrieved once a month last date will be updated when this uh, voucher will be posted on the last time so this column will be get, will be get updated and this column will be uh, regenerated based on the next date when it have to be retrieved based on this recurrent settings let's save this and create a new journal based on uh, this periodic journal so let's go to the journal create a new one let's create a simple journal ledger entry GEN <coughs> sorry PERIOD periodic retrieval test let's go to the lines and here when the power of periodic journal comes in so on these of the lines we have periodic journal period journal so I'll be going to retrieve the journal on the period journal you have option to retrieve or save I'll be discussing save journal uh, after retrieval so let's go and retrieve this general to date is for first of april and general number is <coughs> my periodic general test 2 its number is 637 so 
copy or move journal I have two options if I use to move this journal this product journal will be no more available for copying for the next time so best option is to use the copy journal because we are using it as a periodic journal and we need to uh, keep it there so we'll be just copying the lines from periodic journal to our new journal so let's click ok here you see no time my date is the first of uh, 2022 uh, all lines have been populated currency has been populated amounts have been populated credit have been populated so in case if you need descriptions have been also been populated so in case if you need to change these values uh, and you can do it here it's an unposted entry so let's save validates simulate posting no operation has been completed there's no more error so let's post this voucher the journal has been posted so let's take its print here we have the posted journal print the journal has been posted on 1st of uh, April the amounts and uh, descriptions are there so now let's uh, take a look on on the periodic journal which we have created earlier so here we have our periodic journal so let's open it you see the date has been updated to the next month and last date posted has been updated to the date when it was caught posted like today's date uh, and it's now ready to get posted on on the first of uh, on the next uh, next of the month you need to create a uh, general general lines a general general voucher and then you need to retrieve uh, the voucher for creating the lines next let's look into the save channel option on the product general menu so we have this channel available and we think or uh, we know that this general which I have created yeah uh, just created it will be repeated uh, over the months so what I'll be doing I have option to save this as a product journal so let's save this as a product journal I'll be using the product journal number here on which journal I need to use in order to save to existing journal or I can create a new journal product journal and I can uh, give it in the name one two three and I'll be simply saving this so it will create a product journal from existing voucher the operation has been completed so let's look into the created product journals so here we have product retriever test one two three let's open it up and see what settings is done so it has uh, copied that journal from the posted journal and saved it as periodic journal the same values the same re uh, recurrence setting the same number of unit setting the same amounts descriptions everything thank you for watching thank you so much uh, keep learning keep texting let's meet in another vi within ad another video thank you so much if you think you are getting value from this channel so you need to subscribe then this channel and press the bell icon comment your post your comments so that will uh, obviously help me out to get some sp time spared for this channel and create more videos for for the beginners for the intermediaries and for the even advanced topics inshallah thank you so much have a nice